Good evening, and welcome to the 60th annual Fridley High School Scholastic Achievement Banquet. Tonight, we celebrate the hard work and achievement of the class of 2018. Every student in this auditorium has shown discipline, responsibility, and determination inside and outside of the classroom. This class specifically is so accomplished that we needed the entire banquet to ourselves. We can applaud that. Now, I would like to thank all members of this audience for joining us in this celebration. I hope you enjoy the program. At this moment, please welcome to the stage, Principal Hand. Thank you, Nick. Welcome students, parents, and guardians, faculty, lions, and friends of Fridley High School to our Fridley Academic Awards program. Tonight, we will honor many students who have demonstrated excellence as scholars, athletes, and leaders. Excellence is a result of strong motivation, hard work, and dedication to the opportunities we are provided. When our students and educators excel, it is vital that they are recognized and serve as role models, encouraging others to aspire to excellence. Excellence can mean different things to different people, but the bottom line is that you use your talents, abilities, skills, and your positive attitude in the best way possible every day. These students have shown this excellence, and that is why we are here celebrating tonight. To begin tonight's program, we will honor members of the class of 2018 who have maintained a cumulative GPA of 3.25 average or better throughout their high school career. This achievement is recognized by a special honor certificate provided by the Lions Club, which we are about to present. In order to illustrate our students' accomplishments this past school year, here are a few, few examples. This year, we will be graduating 18 full IB diploma candidates. They will receive both a Fridley High School diploma and an IB diploma. We also have 26 IB scholars. These are students who have taken at least four IB courses per year and completed external exams. We also have two CP graduates. They are graduating having taken place taken part in a rigorous academics of the DP, but have also focused on learning specific to their career fields, including the opportunity to earn an industry certification, certification or credential. In addition, they have explored skills for success in the workplace, studied an additional language, and served their community. Fridley's Key Club and Youth in Government continue to make their mark through awards and accolades. In fact, the Key Club earned distinguished diamond level honors this year, making it one of the top 1% of all Key Clubs in the world. Our sports, theater, music, art, and clubs have made many accomplishments in individual and team tournament participation. Students, we are proud of you and your accomplishments. Your hard work, dedication, and determination have served you well and will continue to serve you well into the future. To kick off tonight's program, we will be presenting the Harvard Prize Book Award. This award goes to an outstanding member of the junior class who demonstrates excellence in scholarship and high achievement in other non-academic areas such as community service. This award is given on behalf of the Harvard Club of Minnesota. This year's recipient will receive the book titled Justice, What's the Right Thing to Do? and Making the Most of College. Fridley High School is proud to announce Haley Shelwig as this year's recipient. Haley, come on up. <laughs> Every year, Yale clubs recognize juniors for their outstanding character and intellectual promise by presenting the Yale Book Club Award to participate in high schools. Fridley High School is proud to announce Hung Nguyen as this year's recipient receiving the book, A Little History of the United States. Hung? I don't think he is here with us tonight, so we will accept it on his behalf and get this to him. At this time, we'll be presenting scholarships from our generous donors to the members of the graduating class of 2018. These seniors have made positive contributions to Fridley High School and their community. 
These awards will assist them as they pursue post-secondary education program. Fridley Community Scholarship started in 1968 through Fridley High School. As part of our dedication to building a community of world-class learners, the Fridley Schools Foundation continues the work with local dis businesses, service groups, and individuals to provide scholarship to support for Fridley High School seniors. With the rising cost of secondary education, scholarships are needed by many of our students to reach their fullest potential. And our community continues to support this rich tradition of giving to help others. With great thanks excuse me, to our fabulous donors, the Fridley Schools Foundation is able to award this year $112,200 in scholarships to this year's seniors. I think that deserves a clap. Students, after you receive your award, we are going to ask you to head up the steps out to the lobby to have your pictures taken. And then once your picture is taken, feel free to come back into the auditorium to acknowledge and to support other award winners. At this time, I would like to introduce Nicole Kaiser and Jim Cummings to present the scholarships to de the deserving students for the class of 2018. Also, in regard to pictures, at the end of the uh, award ceremony, please stick around, students, and we're going to take a large group picture. So um, that will be kind of cool. All right, so let's get started here. There's a lot of hardware up here, and there's a lot of money to be given away, so let's get going. Uh, the first American Legion Scholar Award tonight is Alexander Herlovsky. And the second American Legion Award winner is Madeline Smith. We have two American Legion Auxiliary Scholarship Award winners. The first is Malia Rich. And the second is Morgan Teff. The Bartu Scholarship winner is Danielle Oliveira. The Bob's Produce Award goes to Allison Blaha. The Eugenie Burns Scholarship is awarded to Brianna Fodstad. For the class of 1967 scholarship, I'd like to invite uh, Rick Pratt and Larry Klebick up to the stage. Good evening, my name is Rick Pratt and this is Larry Klebeck. We are the co-chairs of the class of 1967 reunion committee. <clears throat> Still alive. <laughs> it was less than a year ago when the Fridley High School class of 67 held its 50th year reunion. At the reunion, we asked our classmates to contribute to the Fridley Schools Foundation for scholarships. All in attendance had a lifetime to reflect, compare, and discover how well the Fridley teachers, coaches, and staff prepared us for life after high school. The, leg the legacy continues, so it is now a privilege to present Petra, Owasu with the first
Petra, congratulations on your achievements and plans to add to your education. And we hope you take, we, we hope you, you can stay there. <laughs> we hope you take time to thank your teachers, your parents, your grandparents, your coaches, your mentors, and all who, of those who have helped you succeed to date. We have two Fridley Education Association scholarships. The first one is awarded to so Sawyer Hoff. And the second FEA scholarship is awarded to Jesus Ruiz. And for the Flathman Family Scholarship, we would like to invite Drew and Peggy Flathman to the stage. The Flathman Family Scholarship is awarded to Ben Zeze. We have several Friends of Fridley Education Foundation uh, scholarships, and I would like to invite Fridley Lion Ron Ackerman to the stage to help present these awards. Our Fr Friends of Fridley Ed Foundation award winners are Andrew Burge, Chad Hogstad, Gabriela Morales, Evan Nelson, Angela Norman. Kyan Saunders, and Benjamin Stevenson. Congratulations. And for the Fridley Schools Foundation Awards, we have four of those. And to help me present those, I would like to invite uh, President Renee Van Gorp to the stage. Our Fridley Schools Foundation Award winners are Spencer Brady. Carlos Conde Arcos. Jasmine Pierce. And Hani Sarad. Congratulations. The Fridley Hockey Salmon Derby Scholarship Award winner is Noah Cowenhoven. Oh, yeah. 
For the Fridley Columbia Heights Kiwanis Scholarship, I would like to invite Jessica Baker to the stage. Our Fridley Columbia Heights Kiwanis Award winner is Deja Vang. We have six Cop Family Foundation scholarships. The winners of the Cop Family Foundation scholarships are Haley DeLuca Davis, Barbara Lemieux, Janessa Millar. David Poppin. Applied <laughs> Day Jong. <laughs> and Pajai Jong. We have multiple Fridley Lions Club scholarship winners. And to help present these awards to our students, I would like to invite Lion Jim Young to the stage. Our Fridley Lions Club award winners are Wyatt Chafee, Tenzin Chosung. <laughs> Catherine Christensen. <laughs> Cassandra Coraya. <laughs> Bianca Damas. Shadeen Alcair. <laughs> Sarahlyn Ness. <laughs> Caitlin Kornstrom. <laughs> Christy Trujillo. Frank Valtieres. And Chris Alexander Vasquez. We have three more Fridley Lions Club scholarships with special memorials and a vocational uh, scholarship. The first uh, is the John Gargaro Memorial, and that is awarded to Jennifer Olella. <laughs> the Ken Kranz Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Caleb Brandt. And the Fridley Lions Club Vocational Scholarship is awarded to Joseph Dean. We have multiple scholarships um, that were given to the foundation from Joseph and Irene Mertens. Uh, many of these are two-year scholarships. There are also 
two four-year scholarships. I will start with the two-year scholarships. The first is awarded to Hala Aboud. <laughs> Emily Acosta Hilario. <laughs> Fadumo Ahmed. Savannah Covington. <laughs> Ebony Davis. <laughs> Michaela Sousa. <laughs> Andrew Wagner. Darius Williams. <laughs> Lana Yang. <laughs> and Carl Youngren. <laughs> the first four-year uh, Merton Scholarship Award winner is Nicholas Fight. And the second award winner is Olivia Fredrickson. <laughs> the next uh, scholarship is the Edward and Doris Massa Memorial Scholarship. And I would like to invite Deb Blankenship to the stage. And the winner of the scholarship is Ashley Harrison. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the Mickman Brothers Scholarship is awarded to Amina Ali. There are two Mondlo family scholarships, and the winners are Fardosa, Ahmed, Fardosa Mohammed and Miranda Olson. The Myra family scholarship award winner is Curtis Hansen. The Philip Osterlin Scholarship Award winner is Jesenia Solorzano. The American Red Cross Scholarship winner is Iman Ahmed. The Renee Van Gorp Scholarship Award winner not possibly be awarded without having Renee Van Gore back up on stage with me. <laughs> and the winner of the Renee Van Gorp scholarship is Carson Brady. The Rotary Scholarship is awarded to Andrea Guela Due. I've read two full pages. Did I forget anybody yet? Good. Last year I forgot somebody and I felt terrible, so I don't want to repeat. All right, we have a few more. Uh, we have three Gordon Sangster Scholarship Award winners. They are Abdi Aden, Applause 
Daniel Ajagbusi. And Paia Lee. And the Fridley School Board Scholarship. Um, for this one, I would like to invite school board members Mary Kay Delvo and Chris Riddle to the stage to help present. And the winner of the Fridley School Board Scholarship is Victoria Ramirez. We are lucky to have extra support from the Fridley Alumni Choir. I would like to introduce Joe Young and Deb Johnson to present the Sterling Arts Award. Hi, I'm Joe Mikulich Young, and this is Deb Johnson Johnson. And we're honored to be here today um, to award the Sterling Arts Scholarship Award. It's given annually to graduating seniors who plan to pursue one of the fine arts, music, theater, both performing and technical, visual arts, literature, or dance in college. The Sterling Arts Award is a result of the Sterling performance held in the auditorium in September of 1995 to celebrate the auditorium's 25th anniversary. The scholarships are given in memory of Mrs. K. Bonner Nee and Mr. Duane Georges. Ms. Nee was an active community member who was a catalyst for the building of the auditorium in 1970. Mr. Georges was a Fridley teacher and a theater director who directed the first play presented in this auditorium. Funds each year raised by the Fridley Alumni Choir concerts and through individual donations. Since 1995, We've raised over $66,500 that have been awarded to graduating high school seniors. And with tonight's awards, that total is now $72,500. It is with great pleasure that we award individual scholarships of $2,000 apiece to these three talented students. Christopher Vasquez, Andrew Wagner, and Lana Yang. Okay, uh, the STRIVE program is sponsored through the Fridley Columbia Heights Rotary Club. STRIVE challenges these students to improve their work, gain self-confidence, and discover the satisfaction of achievement. It's a scholarship program that recognizes and rewards students who show the greatest improvement in grades in their senior year. These students have overcome obstacles and have made a commitment to themselves that college admissions will be obtainable in the fall. I congratulate them for achieving their goals. Assisting with the certificate presentations will be Steve Clares and Assistant Principal Kelly McConville. We honor the top three award winners, uh, and they are as follows. Lena Alubaide. <laughs> Justin Anderson. <laughs> and
and Levi Drew Hoff. Other stride participants are Reginald Hatley. Austin Johnston. Sam Kinta. Leslie Nayambani. Lauren Stanley. Morgan Teff. And Tim Timothy. At this time, I would like to introduce Rebecca Walker, Fridley High School's Gear Up Student Advisor. I'm bring this down a little bit. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Rebecca Walker, and I am the student advisor with Gear Up Grant Program based out of Hennepin Technical College. Fridley Public Schools was awarded the Gaining Early Awareness and Readiness for Undergraduate Programs, otherwise known as Gear Up, grant in 2012, when this graduating class was just in seventh grade. I have been fortunate enough to have worked with the entire cohort of students since 2013. Gear Up is a federal college readiness grant program, and our students join a current and alumni network of over 700,000 students across the nation taking part in this critical work. This summer, our program was chosen to take part in the Youth Leadership Summit in Washington, DC, as part of the National Gear Up Conference. This is an exclusive opportunity as only 150 students from across the country were selected to participate. Based on a submitted application and program involvement, we have selected four students um, to come with us to Washington, DC and participate in the YLS. These students will participate in four days of intense leadership training and will have the opportunity to present the knowledge they learned at the closing ceremony of the conference. I have no doubt that they will take the skills they learn and immerse themselves on their college campuses as student leaders in the fall. Please help me congratulate Petra Osu, Cassandra, Coraya, Gabby Morales, and Chris Vasquez. Okay, I am tired of fighting with this microphone stand, so I'm gonna throw my shoulders back and um, I'm gonna read like this now. Um, I, would like to in I would like to introduce, um, well, I have Kelly McConville right here and Nicole Kaiser, uh, Dean of Students for the class of 2018, who will assist in presenting the honor awards. It is now time to recognize our graduates with honors. The following students have earned a 3.25 to 3.499 GPA, and they will receive one rope gold cord, and they are Emily Acosta Hilario, <laughs> Fadumo Ahmed, Bianca Damas Rosales. 
Haley DeLuca Davis. Guela Due. Tristan Herder. Sawyer Hoff. Nicholas Napton. Kane Colley. Johanna Kuykendall. Calvin Mitchell Walker. Miriam Mohamud. Gabriela Morales. Evan Nitschka. Daniel Oliveira. Gomar Pal. David Poppin. Victoria Ramirez. Malia Rich. Charlie Tao. Christopher Vasquez. Tahua Zhang. Lana Yang. Andrew Zamora. And Benedict Zeze. Now it is time to recognize all of our graduates with high honors. The following students have earned a 3.50 to 3.74 GPA and above, and will receive a two rope gold cord, and they are Hala Aboud. <laughs> Halima Abdi Salan. Abdikani Aden. Daniel Ajagbusi also receives academic award. Spencer Brady. Ebony Davis. Brianna Fodstad. Curtis Hansen. Alexander Herlovsky. Grace Lepsch. Oh, by the way, Alexander Herlovsky also receives an academic award. Okay. Angela Norman. Miranda Olson. Um, Roman Diaz also received an academic award. And so does the next student, Kyan Saunders receives an academic award. 
Hani Sarai. Michaela Sousa. And Cheng Yang. Now it is time to recognize all of our graduates with highest honors. Please come down and stay on the stage until all students are announced. The graduates with the highest honors. These students are the highest achievers in the class of 2018. Traditionally, we have awarded them with an honor stole to be worn at commencement as a symbol of their high academic achievement. These students will also receive an academic letter. This is the most select group. GPA, which is grade point average of 3.75 and above, plus have their six semester credits in three diploma program classes. They deserve our special recognition this evening. Please hold your applause until they have all been recognized. I will read the names in alphabetical order. Please come up as called. Students, please line up below the stage for pictures, then walk to the auditorium lobby for pictures. Here we go. Iman Ahmed. Carson Brady. Caleb Brandt. Andrew Burge. Wyatt Chafee. Tenzin Chosung. Catherine Christensen. Cassandra Coraya. Shadeen Alcare. Nicholas Fight. Olivia Fredrickson. Ashley Harrison. Chad Hogstad. Paia Lee. Fardosa Mohammed. Evan Nelson. Sarah Lynn Ness. Jennifer Olilla. Petra Owusu. Arabella Pros. Caitlin Kornstrom. Nathan Sandwick. Jesenia Solorzano. Benjamin Stevenson. Frank Valtierez. Deja Vang. In Play de Jean.
Let's give a big round of applause for our highest honors. Okay, don't go anywhere. You guys got to come up here for a picture. We're going to get a picture. I like pictures. All done? Okay. Yep. You guys need to sit back down. We got other stuff to do. Before moving on to other awards tonight, I want to thank the Fridley Lions for their partnership with us in sponsoring our banquet tonight. We appreciate, we are appreciative of their continued support in this event during the past 60 years. The Fridley Lions Club embodies their mission of service. It is truly an honor to work with such a group that gives so much back to the community. I would like to introduce Kelly McConville, Fridley High School Assistant Principal, to present the Presidential Education Awards. All right. <clears throat> This is the 26th year we have presented the Presidential Education Award. The criteria for this award are, students must have a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or above and have received a score at or above the 80th percentile on a nationally recognized standard achievement test or nationally standardized college and admission examination. Fridley's Presidential Scholars are as follows. Carson Brady. Spencer Brady. <laughs> Caleb Brandt. Andrew Burge. Tenzin Chosung. Nicholas Fight. Alexander Herlovsky. Grace Lepsch. Sarah Lynn Ness. Jennifer Olala. Petra Owusu. Caitlin Kornstrom. 
Michaela Sousa. And Benjamin Stevenson. And now I'd like to introduce Carol Nielsen and Jessica Baker, our IB coordinators. Good evening. It is now time to recognize our IB scholars. The following students are being recognized for their choice to complete a challenging and rigorous high school curriculum. These students have completed four or more international baccalaureate program courses. These courses are part of a two-year program of study, encouraging critical thinking, making connections between disciplines, and considering multiple perspectives. These students will wear an IB medallion with a white ribbon to note this accomplishment. Our first IB scholar, Iman Ahmed. <laughs> Jenna Al Salim. <laughs> Tenzin Chosung. <laughs> Catherine Christensen. Shadeen Elker. Brianna Fodstead. Olivia Fredrickson. Ashley Harrison. William Harview. Cameron Hillstead, Kane Colley, Grace Lepsch, Janessa Millar, Fardosa Mohammed. Samira Mohamud, Gabriella Morales, Miranda Olson, Caitlin Kornstrom, William Roberts. Hani Surad. <laughs> Jacenia Solorzano. Dante Thompson. Christy Trujillo. Josie Vecchio Schreiner. Lana Yang, and Samira Yusuf. It is now time to recognize our IB Diploma candidates. The following students are being recognized for their choice to complete the full International Baccalaureate Diploma Program and are recognized as full diploma candidates. As was mentioned earlier, these students will receive an IB diploma as well as a Fridley High School diploma. These students have completed six college level courses and examinations, many right here in this auditorium, <laughs> over, the last, over the course of two years. In addition to this highly rigorous course load, these students have also completed an independent research paper called the Extended Essay, a course examining the nature of knowledge, theory of knowledge, and have demonstrated leadership skills and compassion through community service, completing their CAS program. These students join over 100,000 current full diploma candidates in 141 countries around the world. 
These students will wear an IB medallion with a gold ribbon to note this accomplishments. Students, when you come forward to receive your medallion, if you'll wait down front until all graduates, are, all the diploma candidates are announced, we'll come back up for a group picture, and again, Sarah will be up in the balcony to take that photo. Our first full diploma candidate is Caleb Brandt. Andrew Birch. Wyatt Chafee. Cassandra Karaya. Christian Doe. Nicholas Fight. Curtis Hansen. Chad Haugstead. Tristan Herter. Evan Nelson. Sarah Lynn Ness. Jennifer Ola. Petra Ousu. Jasmine Pierce. Benjamin Stevenson. Frank Valtieras. Deja Vang. And Andrew Wagner. And full diploma candidates of 2018, would you come back on stage, please, for a group photo? Sarah's up in the balcony, so when you're ready, smile up that way. Yeah, put your medals on. We okay, Sarah? Thank you. You want them up there too, or sit down? Okay. It is now time to recognize our IB career-related program recipients. They are graduating, taking part in rigorous academics of the DP, but also focused on specific learning to their career fields, including the opportunity to earn an industry certification or credential. In addition, they have explored skills for success in the workplace, studied an additional language, and served their community. These students will wear an IB medallion with a purple ribbon to note this accomplishment. We have two IB career-related graduates, Justin Anderson, and Josie Vecchio-Schreiner.
Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce our activities director, Dan Roth, who will present awards for our student activities. Good evening. Before we get going, there's a few thank yous I need to say. Uh, first of all, to our, I think the class of 67 said it well, and thank you to our coaches, directors, advisors. Um, they get up every day and live out our activities mission, which is to inspire and develop excellence. And you seniors here tonight are the fruits of their labor. And what you have achieved is the fruits of your own labor. So congratulations. This class, 2018, unbelievable class. Just unbelievable. And speaking of excellence, my assistant, Sue. She lives that out every day in that office. Uh, Keeping, us, keeping those plates spinning and going. And a lot of you parents uh, work with her and, and the kids as well. And I just want to thank you, Sue, for all your hard work. Class of 2018, uh, this is my 11th year here, my 36th as an educator. And there's a lot of firsts for me tonight. And I just, I don't know if you noticed, but the 18 diploma candidates that are, that are, are DP kids, of those 18, did a little research. Eight of them were athletes. Four of them, fine art participants. Five, athletes and fine art participants. And all of them do something else for this school in an activity or a club or something else. Just hats off to you guys. I've never seen that before. Okay, we have a lot of awards to give out, so let's get going. Our, we're going to start out with our uh, Marine Corps Service Awards. Um, the description is in there, so I will just call them out. So our first one is the Semper Fidelis Music Excellence Award, and that goes to Jenny Olala. Our Marine Corps Scholastic Excellence Award goes to Nick Fight. In the Marine Corps Distur Distinguished Athlete Award, one male, one female. Shadeen Elkair. And Ben Zeze. Congratulations to those winners. We're going to move on to our Tiger for Life Award. Now, this is where there's a little disclaimer here. Sue and I, we had our shoes off, our calculators. We were working like crazy trying to figure this out, and we may have missed a few. So if you think you earned that and you have six letters or more and you're not on this list, then come on and see us. We will make it right. We are in the last year, is that right, Sue, of having two different programs, they change programs. So we have to, for this group, we have three years in the program we're using now and one year where we have to go back to a different program. So that's where we could have some issues. So let's move on. I'm gonna start with Z and move forward because tonight's been a lot of A and the Z's are last. So Tigers for Life, they get a free pass in any event the rest of their lives. All right, congratulations. Ben Zeze, Darius Williams, Andrew Wagner, oh, one thing I should say, if you've had your picture taken, you don't have to go back out there, okay? Should have started with that. So we are now at Frank Valtieres. Morgan Teff. Ben Stevenson. Nate Soto. Aaron Rafke. 
Caitlin Kornstrom. David Poppin. Jennifer Olala. Daniel Oliveira. Sarah Lynn Ness. Evan Nelson. China Murray. Janessa Malar. Skyler Larson. Alex Perlovsky. Tristan Herder. Chad Hogstead. Olivia Fredrickson. Nick Fight. Shadeen Elkair. Cassie Dunn. Christian Doe. Joe Dean. Bianca Damas. Adam Crane. Noah Cowenhoven. Cassandra Correa. Caleb Brandt. And Allison Blaha. Okay. Congratulations. Another round of applause for all of them. Now we're going to go to the Fridley Tiger Trifecta. We'll start out with our fine arts. Those are people who have been in three all seasons, and they have been in all three their last two years and have to be in one all four. Tough one to get. And our fine arts trifecta winners are Cassie Dunn, Cassandra Correa, and Fridley's own Uncle Fester, Andrew Wagner. Andrew, you made a memory for me. I'll never forget that. That was awesome. <laughs> OK, we have the Fridley Athletic Trifecta. They are Frank Valtierrez. Ben Zeze. Nick Fight. Nate Soto. And Olivia Fredrickson. Got you cooking up there, huh, Sue? The Trifecta is an amazing award this day and age. It's tough to do. A lot of people want our kids and want their time. Congratulations to all of you. Okay, our, is the Triple A Award. Uh, the Minnesota State High School League would say that's their most coveted award. Uh, it's to a well-rounded person. Um, Academics, Arts and Athletic Award. And our winners this year, Olivia Fredrickson and Tristan Herder. Liv, I'm going to save you a trip. You just turn around and head back. Right here. No, you just go right across, back across. All right, atta girl. Olivia, this is the first time in my 36 years that I know of that this has happened. But Olivia was our Athena Award winner, which is, means the top female athlete in the school, as well as the Triple A winner. So congratulations, that's quite a feat.
All right. Before we get to the most valuable senior award, I just want to share that uh, we had a leadership group called Become Worth Following. And a man came in, and he runs this program. And our kids, we worked on this year, we focused on performance characteristics, performance values, and moral values. And this group of seniors, they have put something together that is going to be, I told them, my goal is that this building goes down before what you put together for us. And I just want to tell all of you that your hard work, your tenacity, your improvement, your daily grind, your enthusiasm, your resiliency, and your sacrifice for your teammates are what will remain and what we will remember and our coaches will. And we hope that you go on out here when you leave here with the moral values of trust, integrity, gratitude, empathy, respect, and service. And if you haven't figured it out, it spells tigers. And the kids made that up, and I appreciate it. I want to thank you seniors who worked on that. So let's go on to the most valuable senior awards. Voted on by coaches and teammates, here we go. Adapted Bowling, Andy Zamora. <laughs> Baseball will be announced later. Andy's not here, okay. Boys basketball, a duo, Nate Soto and Evan Nelson. <laughs> Girls basketball, Olivia Hawkins. <laughs> Cheerleading, Lana Yang. <laughs> Boys cross country, Nick Fight. We had no seniors in girls cross country. Dance team, Janessa Millar. <laughs> drama, out of the whole drama department. One person, Tristan Herter. <laughs> Football, Nate Soto. Boys Golf, Will Harvo. <laughs> Girls Golf, Bianca Damas. <laughs> Boys Soccer, Shamarke Noor. <laughs> Girls Soccer, Shadeen Elkair. Softball will have theirs at their year-end celebration. Speech, Andrew Wagner. <laughs> Boys swimming, Farouk Hussein. <laughs> Girls swimming, Sarah Lynn Ness. <laughs> Boys tennis will be at the banquet. Girls Tennis, Olivia Fredrickson. <laughs> Boys and Girls Track will announce after their season. Volleyball, Jasmine Pierce. And wrestling, Nick Fight. We're down to our last award. The last award is called the Senior Hall of Fame. This year, we have several, the most we've had in my career here. We have two that the jury's still out, two spring athletes. If they get all conference in their sport, they will then have Hall of Fame. So I will announce their names, but they will not receive 
it, but I'll just let you all know that those two possible, and I, I'm a betting guy, so I'm betting on them. Darius Williams and Caleb Brandt. So good luck, guys. Finish strong. And here we go, our Hall of Fame, Senior Hall of Fame, Noah Collenhoven. Senior Hall of Fame, Ben Zeze. Senior Hall of Fame, Nate Soto. Senior Hall of Fame, Olivia Fredrickson. And anchoring our Senior Hall of Fame, Nick Fight. Congratulations to all our athletes, fine arts people, the kids who are in clubs, and all that you did for this school. Good luck. And now, Principal Hand. I know we've clapped a lot tonight, but I really want to give one more round of applause to the class of 2018. I told the class at our senior meeting this fall that this year would go fast, and I think they're an amazing class with lots of character, and I do not say that lightly. This is an amazing class, as you saw tonight. There's just so much depth and character, and they will all be very successful with their futures. I'm very proud of them. I would like to take a moment to thank Greg Ackerman, Kelly McConville, my assistant principal, Carrie Rona, Jim Cummings, and Nicole Kaiser, our deans of students, Dan Roth, our activities director, Sue Hansen, our activities assistant, Carol Nielsen and Jessica Baker, our IB coordinators, Dan Wold, our auditorium coordinator, our scholarship donors, Lions members, and the Fridley Columbia Heights Rotary for their part in tonight's banquet and awards program. I want us all to take a quick moment and give a huge round of applause to my administrative coordinator, Sue Culbertson, who makes us all look wonderful. She is in charge of every single detail and makes this look flawless, but the work is enormous and she's very humble, so thank you so much, so much. I wanna also thank all of our students' parents and guardians here tonight. Our partnerships with you support our students and they could not be successful without you. Thank you. Again, award recipients, congratulations on your awards, your scholarships, and your accomplishments. I am proud to be your principal and thank you for a wonderful year. Go Tigers. Thank you.